Get him a fight. Get him a fight. Get him a star. We have him right here. Dakota Goyo, everybody. Oh, my gosh. You are stealing the show from Hugh Jackman, who everybody loves. You are so talented, and you just turned 12 in August. Happy birthday. How does it feel to be a part of a movie this big with such a big star like Hugh Jackman? It comes out this weekend. I know you've already seen it because mm -hmm. the red carpet just passed. Are you ready to reach Beaver Fever? Um, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be very grateful because I mean, uh, he's so successful and just to get to that point, that level, would be just such a great experience. So what was it like working with Hugh? Working with Hugh is such a great guy. I mean, people don't just say he's like, He's, he's nice just because they're saying that. He really is the nicest guy you can ever meet. And just getting the opportunity to work not with Wolverine, but getting the opportunity to work with Hugh Jackman, it's, it's, it's been great. Pretty amazing. And the movie is yeah. so much about um, the robots and the fighting and the cool moves. And we see them right here. But it was also a lot about your relationship mm -hmm. with Hugh. And he plays your dad in the movie, right? So what were the scenes like? You had a lot of tender scenes. You made a lot of people cry. I can't wait to see this movie. The trailer looks amazing. Did he make you laugh a lot on set? Um, he did make me laugh a lot on set because he pranked me a lot of times. Oh, tell us about a prank. Okay, so we were in a sleeping scene. I was supposed to get up without anything, and he was just supposed to walk out. I was supposed to walk out, and he was supposed to stay sleeping, but he decided to prank me. Get up and yell as loud as he could. Just, just get up really quick. So I flew back on my bed, and I was like almost in tears and I was so scared but I got him back. You got, how'd got, you get him back? Can uh, you share it? It was a photo shoot at Crash Palace. So uh, he was getting his photo taken, so I came up behind him and I tased him right in here because he's very ticklish. There. No, you didn't. Yes. Dakota, don't mess and, with Goyo. And, and he went crazy. That is awesome. Yeah. Another cool thing is the people you've worked with. I don't know if you guys realize, in 12 short years, you've worked alongside with Resurrecting the Champ, Josh Hartnett and Samuel Jackson, another cool dude. Emotional Arithmetic with Susan Sarandon. Woody Harrelson uh, in Defender. You're uh, doing a voice animation with Jude Law, Chris Pine, again, Hugh Jackman, Isla Fisher, Alec Baldwin. Who haven't you worked with that you would love to work with? I can't believe your roster already is amazing. Oh, my. Um, my favorite actors w that I want to work with, Leonardo DiCaprio, I've always watched. I mean, Inception was just, just great. And then Bradley Cooper, uh, like, you know, in Limitless. Mm -hmm. and he's just amazing. Very cool. And how does yeah. it feel watching these red carpets and going to your own movies? Are you okay with seeing yourself? Are you okay with attending these big events? I am. I like to see other people's reactions. Like if they're going to cry, they're going to be happy, or they're going to be sad. So just, just seeing that's amazing. And I know you go to school here because you were born and raised right here in Toronto. So what are your friends saying? They must be so happy for you. They are happy for me. They give me a, a lot of support. But they don't really bring my career into our friendship. And I appreciate that because I don't want them to like me for um, an actor, a kid actor. I want them to like me for who I am. Yeah, you're just a real kid, and you love to do real kid things. For example, what's your favorite junk food? Do you have one? My favorite junk food, oh my. I don't really eat a lot of junk food. Good for you. What's your favorite uh, song or artist out right now? Who are you really liking music-wise? Um, for some reason, I'm, in, I'm into a lot of uh, Eminem and ACDC. Very cool, which is in the yes. movie. We're so proud of you. This is just the beginning. You are so young and so talented. Truly, you're a huge star. Don't forget us when you become bigger than Bieber. For more information, follow him on Twitter, at Dakota Goyo, and he writes back, by the way. As well, check it out. Real Steel opens in theaters across the country tomorrow for theaters and showtime, cineplex.com. And I ask him about music because everybody's talking about your moves, your dance moves, yes. and your famous line in this movie is I just wanted you to fight for me right yes. what's and the line I just wanted you to fight for me that's all I ever wanted you know what Dakota I just want you to dance for me that's all I ever wanted <laughs> are you ready I'm ready show them your moves okay. watch this pussycat so, dolls are in the house you watch Dakota girls okay so you start off um, I think you you're walking in so you gotta go yeah, yeah. like that punch yeah. punch it's easy in the skirt and heels punch punch <laughs> and then it's robot so you walk up and then you go one, two, three, four, five. Go six. Dakota, Dakota, go Goyo, go Goyo. <laughs> High five it like yeah, a it's robot. Better than me. It's better than me. Awesome. Oh, snap. I hope this goes better than the Pussycat Dolls segment later on. We'll be back with uh, actually Kevin Frankish in the newsroom.